Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope you've had a beautiful day and a wonderful weekend. Um, our weekend here has been fantastic. Um, mainly because the weather here this weekend has been incredible. Saturday, yesterday, the high you guys, the high was like 72 degrees. It was beautiful. And today, about the same. It's just so pretty. Um, you know, and my house is fully decorated, so I'm able to just kind of sit back, relax, light up my pumpkin candle, melt my pumpkin wax, and just enjoy all of this fall goodness. Um, so yeah, it's been a great weekend and a great day and it is game day. The Cowboys are playing today, but they are not playing until tonight. So I have some time to do my videos, my empties. I do have my, um, cowboy jersey on, so I am ready for game night. But before, uh, game time, I do want to try to film two videos. I have two different empties that I want to, um, film for y'all. This first one, this one is just what I'm gonna call random empties from the past several weeks, maybe month. Um, these here, these were not part of my apple basket. They really don't like have a rhyme or reason as far as like scents go. Um, these are just ones that I kind of did randomly, like, you know, if I just needed a scent to melt for a few hours or, you know, there's really no like theme or scent category. These just kind of are random bits of wax, but I, I didn't want to just toss them in the trash without filming them for y'all. So let's get into it. Um, all of this is wax in here, except for one thing of body care. And I did want to show y'all that I finished this fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works in Dream Bright. I have had this for so long <laughs> and I was just sick and tired of seeing it, um, you know, on my shelf and it didn't have much left. So I was like, let's just finish this out. Uh, the fragrance notes are sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. So, first of all, I love the packaging of this, like all these little diamonds. I just love that. This scent is not my favorite. Um, I want to say I got this like for free maybe with my rewards or I know I didn't pay full price for this. Um, and... It's just not my favorite scent and I don't know why. I don't know if it's the orchid or what. Um, I mean, it's pretty and obviously, you know, it was fine enough for me to finish it out, but I just know I wouldn't repurchase this. Hold on one second. Guess who is looking at me over there from the stairs? I'm going to put y'all on pause so I can go uh, tend to him. I'll be right back. All right. So I know y'all have heard me and seen me <laughs> deal with this stinker. So I thought I would introduce him to you guys. This is Curry. Um, he is our eight-year-old dachshund. Um, we love him so much, but he is such a hot mess um, and he knows it. He knows he is not supposed to go up those stairs, but it, it, it's so funny. Like he'll go up a couple and then he'll turn around and look at us like, hey, are you uh, checking me out? You see what I'm doing? Um, but he's, he's so much fun. He's pure joy, but he is a stinker. So I just thought I would introduce him since, you know, <laughs> you've seen him get in trouble on my videos before. So yes, this is Curry. Say hi. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, mommy's gonna talk about wax, so you go behave. Okay, um, so we were talking about Dream Bright. Again, I would not repurchase this. Um, it's just not, you know, my favorite, um, but I emptied it out, so now I can toss it. Okay, the rest of this is wax, so let's just start 
digging in. Uh, this one here, Savannah Blue. This was, I think this was like a bunt, I wanna say, in fried peach hand pies. And the scent notes on this, ooh, they're tiny, okay. <sighs> peach pie, funnel cake, vanilla ice cream, and a dash of cinnamon and sugar. Um, this one was okay. Um, it wasn't my favorite peach. Peach is one of those things that I'm kind of picky about. I love it, but if it's not done just right, it kind of can turn my stomach a little bit. This one was okay. It just wasn't my favorite peach. It really wasn't that strong. Um, yeah, so probably not a repurchase for me in the future. Uh, this was a sample from Empire Alchemy or Alchemy in Lonely Hearts Club. You guys, I am finding, I've only ordered from Empire Alchemy twice, and I'm finding that their stuff is really, really strong. Um, this was, I, I don't remember, because I got several samples from them, um, so I'm not sure of the shape of this. I want to say it was a heart, which would make sense, since it's called Lonely Hearts Club. Um, and if I'm honest, I don't remember the scent. I want to say this was like a strawberry scent, but don't quote me on that because I did go through a couple of samples, so I don't remember what sample was what, but I can tell you that Empire Alchemy works really well for me. Super strong. Um, okay, now this is not labeled, but I do remember what this was. This was half of a loaf that I got from my last round robin the one that was hosted by Erica Kane. Um, this was, I don't remember the exact name of the scent, but it was something from Sassy Girl Aroma. It was like strawberry frosted animal circus cookies or something like that. And it was a gorgeous pink loaf. I did not take the whole loaf. I just cut off some for myself and that's what was in here. Holy cow, you guys, this was freaking amazing. Um, I would definitely, definitely get an entire loaf for myself next time. It was so good. An amazing strawberry. Um, okay, again from Savannah Blue. This, I believe, was a really cute pineapple shape in Bahama Mama Frosted Circus Cookies. Uh, okay, scent notes. Oranges, nectarine, mango, lemon, and lime. Pineapple, coconut with frosted circus cookies. Um, Y'all, this was, this was okay. I mainly just got pineapple from this. Yeah, I got just kind of a fruity pineapple. I didn't get anything that like, you know, was a cookie note or a bakery note. And I thought I would being frosted circus cookies. I just got pineapple. So it wasn't a disappointment, but it didn't give me frosted circus cookies. So not a repurchase on that one either. Uh, let's see. This, oh, okay. This um, was in my random act of kindness from my friend Becca. This was a really cute flower shape uh, from K's in T for two. Um, orange almond scone, tea and cake, and lemon curd. This was gorgeous. This was so pretty. I had this going in my master bath, and I'm so glad that Becca sent me some from Kay's. I've only ordered from Kay's once before, and my first time ordering from Kay's, I was really kind of bummed out because I just didn't get the greatest performance. Um, so that, again, shows, you know, showed myself, don't judge a vendor off of one bad experience and I'm learning that as I'm going through my wax journey because um, I was about to just give up with K's but after one time and I'm glad I didn't because Becca sent me this and this was amazing so I definitely need to give K's another shot. Okay again from Savannah Blue this I believe was a I want to say this was a really cute like hedgehog porcupine shape in Ghoulberry. Scent notes, raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, sugar crystals, and whipped cream. Checking to see where he is. 
Um, this one was okay. Um, I would say out of the Savannah Blue that I melted um, in this particular round of empties, this might have been the strongest one. Yeah, just a very nice fruity scent. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. Okay, from Up the Creek Scents, a snap bar. Oh my gosh, you guys. In black and blue bread. This uh, is her, I guess it's a house blend of her um, blackberry and blueberry with zucchini bread. This might be one of my, oh yeah, all time favorite scents from Shannon at Up the Creek. This is fantastic. Yeah, because the black, I, you get everything in this. You get the blackberry, you get the blueberry, and the blackberry and the blueberry in this are equally equally balanced one does not you know overpower the other and the zucchini bread comes through too it's so good so if you are thinking about ordering from up the creek scents definitely see if she has this one in stock black and blue bread um you'll thank me later it's so good and so strong okay i have some other things here from my sweet friend becca um, okay, so yeah, all three of these were from Becca in her sweet friend mail that she sent me. This was a snap bar from Fantasy Wax Melts in uh, Funnel Cake and Strawberry Pound Cake. And again, I was so thankful to Becca for that awesome box that she sent me because there were lots of vendors in that box that she sent me that I had never tried, Fantasy Wax being one of them. This was really good. Um, the funnel cake had a little bit of spice to it. So this one was interesting um, because I've never had like strawberry pound cake mixed in with something that was spicy. Um, yeah, this was good. Interesting, like an interesting take on strawberry pound cake, but the fantasy wax stuff throws really, really well. Super strong. Um, okay, Becca also sent me this bag. It was just kind of like some random shapes from Sassy Wax Melts. Peanut butter and jelly witches, which was peanut butter, grape jelly, and fresh baked bread. I did like this, but if I'm honest, I mainly got the peanut butter and the bread. I didn't get a whole lot of um, grape jelly. Yeah, I just got peanut butter and bread. Like if you had a toasted piece of bread with some peanut butter, like peanut butter toast. That's kind of what this smelled like. I still liked it. I was just missing out on the jelly. Another one from Becca. Um, this was, I think, just a bag of, I want to say this was maybe a bag of like some shapes that she had cut up. L3, birthday cake, ice cream scoop bread, and sugar cookie royale. So good. Oh yeah. I love L3's Sugar Cookie Royale, first of all, and then this was just like creamy, yummy, vanilla bakery. It was really, really good, super strong. Okay, I did this sample from Up the Creek in Marshmallow Cookie Bakery. I'm learning that I'm just not the biggest fan of just like straight up marshmallow scents because I don't ever like get anything from them. Um, marshmallow to me is kind of along the same lines as vanilla. Like I just, I mean, I like them and I think I would get them mainly in the future, just maybe as part of a blend, not on its own. Because marshmallow on its own, I get nothing. Vanilla on its own, a lot of times I get nothing, so. Okay, um, I have a couple of clams here. Um, Soul's Inspiration. I got this as part of a mystery box that I did. This was so good. Um, this was Baby Bee's Buttermilk. And on here it just says it's calming just like the lotion. And I remember um, when I did my haul on this. Oh, yeah. I remember saying this on cold sniff. It smelled like something that you would want like a baby's room to smell like or you know a nursery if you had a newborn at your house and you know you wanted your baby's room to smell a certain way this is so good 
I did this, I think I did this whole clam in my master bath. This thing was so strong. I did one cube in my, um, kind of my mini warmer that I have in my master bath. Yeah, this was so strong and so good. And it, yeah, exactly what it says. It was just calming and creamy. I loved it, absolutely loved it. And then I did this clam here from Sensationals. I got this recently at Walmart um, with their Halloween stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is in Frightening Flower. And on here it says, watch out for thorns. And it says floral. Um, but you know what? It's not overly floral to me. It wasn't on cold and it really wasn't on warm either. It to my nose, it was just kind of like a, just a really pretty, maybe feminine scent. I did this in my master bedroom. Yeah, it was, it was really pretty. I didn't really get floral. I just got just a pretty scent. Didn't really like give me Halloween vibes, however, but it was still nice. Okay. I have some scent shots. I did circus concession, delectable plaid. Um, this one was really, really good and really, really strong. Did it remind me of Circus Concession scents? No. Yeah, because um, I've had Circus Concession from many vendors, and I feel like Circus Concession type scents, they all kind of smell the same. This did not give me that vibe. It was still really good and really, really strong. This kind of gave me... Um, like there was some cinnamon in here, a little bit of spice, not a whole lot, but like when I do circus concession type scents, I'm thinking that I'm gonna smell, you know, something like funnel cake or caramel apple. Um, and I really didn't get that from this. I mainly just got like a cinnamon spice scent, but again, it was really good and really strong. When I do these little scent shots from Delectable Plaid, I do the whole thing in a warmer and I've, yeah, I've never really had issues with poor performance from Delectable Plaid. It's a really good vendor. If you haven't ordered from Delectable Plaid, I highly, highly recommend that you do. Here is another scent shot I got from my sweet friend, Becca. Pink Owl Wax. This was in Carousel. Strawberry Pound Cake and Sugar Cookies. This was super good, y'all. Um... You definitely got the strawberry pound cake, but it was like a, a really like thick and creamy strawberry pound cake. Um, I felt like with this, I didn't get like a baked sugar cookie. I got like raw sugar cookie dough. You know how like when you get that Pillsbury thing of sugar cookie dough, sugar cookie dough smells very, very different from like sugar cookies. So I felt like this was strawberry pound cake with raw sugar cookie dough. It was so good. I cut this in half. I love Pink Owl. Um, I need to place an order again very soon. Okay, um, this one, the pharmacist's daughter. Y'all, look at the size of this. <laughs> um, these are, are these four ounces? Let me see if it says, no, 3.25 ounces. Okay. Um, these are so big. I love these so much. And being from the pharmacist's daughter, I've said many times that the pharmacist's daughter is a vendor where less is more. So this thing lasted me forever. I did not need much of this at all. And this was just called bakery blend because when I placed my order, there was a section where you could just pick like a random blend in a certain scent category. So of course I chose, you know, the bakery category, not really knowing what you were gonna get. This was good. This had a little bit of, um, I mean, I can see why they called it bakery, but there was also some fruitiness going on in here. It was so good. Um, it was fun just because you don't really know the scent notes. Uh, it was so good and so strong. Okay. Um, y'all, I'm going to put y'all on pause um, one more time because he is not on the stairs, 
but he is over in the kitchen and I hear him digging into something. So I hope he did not get into some trash. So I will be right back. Yes, he was about to dig in the trash. Okay. Um, all right. So I have four things here from Papa Melt, formerly Woof Wicks. Um, Y'all, I'm so glad that I ordered these when I did and I've melted them because I now know <clears throat> that this vendor is just not going to be a vendor that I'm going to order from in the future. Um, if you saw my haul, it's here on my channel if you'd like to watch it. Um, I mentioned in my initial haul when I did these that they're a, not a little, they're a lot pricey. Um, and then just going through these, they don't perform for me at all. And I've been putting this whole little cube in a warmer and I've tried so many different warmers with this vendor, tea light, hot plate, um, you know, bulb warmers. I've tried everything and I just cannot get a good throw. So being the fact that they're pricey to begin with, I'm yeah not gonna place an order in the future but I can honestly say that I tried so I did Dr. Berry which was Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream and the thing is a lot of these in fact the majority of them smelled so good on cold I was like really you know holding out hope that they were going to perform for me and they just didn't because this one was really good um you got like the cola note which I normally am not a fan of, but then mixed in with the strawberry note, it, it was it was really good. It was kind of like a like a cherry cola icy. Uh, this one was munchies, which was almond biscotti. What does that say? <laughs> Cider and pumpkin cinnamon donut. I mean, those scents alone just sound incredible and on cold this was so good didn't get anything once it went in a warmer though this one jelly donut uh let's see strawberry jam and glazed cinnamon donut i really even on cold i didn't get much of the cinnamon donut i just got strawberry jam but like i said all of these once they got in a warmer, they just did nothing for me. And this was Snickerdoodle. Curry. Curry, come here. Come here. Sorry. Come here. Come here. There he comes. Um, Snickerdoodle was creamy, buttery, vanilla cookies. Yeah. I, I was just so, so sad because on cold, they were really, really good. Um, I think if I had gotten as good of a scent as curry, he just took one of my empty clams. <laughs> um, I think if I had gotten like as good of a smell on warm as these were on cold, I might consider, you know, another order. But since I didn't get much, not going to do it again. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? I have one more. This was butter pecan ice cream. I will say their packaging is super cute. Like I love the whole aesthetic with the animals. Yeah. So their, their labels are really, really cute. Butter pecan ice cream. Let's see. Pecans. Oh gosh. Pralines, caramel, and vanilla ice cream. Yeah. I'm not even getting much uh, in the empty container. So I, I think this might have been super light on cold anyway. So yeah, not much on that one either. Okay. Um, is that it for clams? Yeah. All right. That is it for clams. So let's just finish up with these bags and then I will be done. Okay. I did a sample. I want to say this. Oh yeah. This was from Becca. There's her awesome handwriting. <laughs> this was a sample from the Smell Good Shop. Necronomicon, I think it is. This Summer Boardwalk Raspberry and Sugar Crystals. Oh, so good. I don't know how Becca knew. Well, she probably knew from my videos that that Smell Good Shop is one of my favorites. 
uh, yeah, it's not a secret. I say it all the time. I loved this. The raspberry came through. So, you know, when I melt raspberry, it's just like my daddy's here. Um, I don't remember the shape of this, but this was something from the pharmacist's daughter. I want to say it was like a huge, like donut shape. Um, calmness, salty sea air, lavender, and peppermint. Y'all. Ugh. I, okay, so with lavender scents, I don't do herbal. I do sweet lavender. And I have learned that I think my favorite combo with lavender, besides lemon, I do love lavender with lemon or lemonade. I love that. But I... Y'all, lavender with peppermint, and then you add the saltiness in from the salty sea air. This was gorgeous. Gorgeous. I loved it. Definitely a repurchase. Um, Body's Harmony. This was a cute little, what was this? Like a, a donut or like a ring shape in raspberry toast, uh, raspberry jam, and fresh bread. So sad this vendor's not around anymore. This was amazing. Such a good raspberry. Um, and this was great because you got the sweetness from the raspberry jam, but then you got that doughy, bready note from the fresh bread. Loved it. Here is another sample I did from Up the Creek in salted caramel zucchini bread. Fantastic. I love Shannon's zucchini bread. And this one was so good with that touch of the salted caramel. So good. Another one from the pharmacist's daughter. Oh, this, oh yeah, this was a two pack of um, little snap bars. Different is beautiful. Pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, vanilla buttercream, and birthday cake. You guys. This, now I'm going to say something about the pharmacist's daughter that I don't think I ever thought I would say. This one on cold was a little bit light and I never say that about the pharmacist's daughter stuff. I mean, <clears throat> because 99.999% of the time, the pharmacist's daughter on cold, their stuff blows me away. And I remember, because there was scent notes when I bought this, I was like, heck yes, pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, birthday cake, this is gonna smell freaking amazing on cold I smelled it and I was like okay this is okay it's just not blowing me away like I thought it was going to that was on cold when I got this in a warmer oh my gosh this was so good I mean yeah it was everything came through the PPW that sugar cookie dough again with the raw dough the vanilla buttercream, the birthday, it was so creamy. It was so rich. It was delicious. Definitely a repurchase. Just goes to show, don't judge a scent on cold. Uh, Britta's, uh, this was a souffle. Yes, a souffle. Benny's coffee, uh, cappuccino, brown sugar, and zucchini bread. I, before I ordered this, this is my first time to ever have Benny's coffee. And prior to ordering this, I I had seen so many hauls on YouTube from Britta's and so many people talking about how amazing this scent was. It's so good. It's worth the hype. Yeah, it, it's just a delicious coffee blend. Repurchase for sure. Another, oh, I have two more from the pharmacist's daughter. Um, this, what was this? Okay, this I believe was a two pack of tiles in sugared pretzels, pretzel, marshmallow fluff, iced almond cookies, and birthday cake. Um, this was amazing as well. Like y'all know the pharmacist's daughter is easily in my top three for a reason. The pretzel from the pharmacist's daughter, they have one of my most favorite pretzels and this was so good yeah it was kind of like a sweet and salty thing oh delicious that one would be a repurchase too and this one from the pharmacist's daughter i i think oh yeah this was a flower shape it's been a while since i've melted these so it's 
like taking me a minute to remember what the shape was. This was a flower shape, like a daisy, really cute, in Stella. Buttermints, marshmallow fluff, and pink sugar. I recently came around to, oh, still so good. Um, I recently came around to loving buttermints just in the last few months. I don't know where I have been. Like, I'm so glad I am finally aboard the buttermint train because it's so good. It's, and it's, it's not your typical peppermint. It's just this creamy, creamy, almost like a vanilla creamy mint. Oh, and this one, like this was a match made in heaven. Buttermints with the marshmallow fluff and the pink sugar. <sighs> That's really, really good. Like that one again would be a repurchase. And I think I'm down to my last one. Yes. Okay. So this was a two pack from Traverse City Wax Co. in Ultimate Bakery. Uh, this was cinnamon sugar cookies, vanilla cream, toasted nuts, and sweet caramel. Y'all. <laughs> I love Lindsay stuff. I love Traverse City. Um, I love her new like branding and new packaging. These bags are so cute. Um, this was basically what it said. Ultimate bakery with a little bit of spice. Oh, yeah. And you got the nuttiness from the toasted nuts. This was fantastic. I would get more of this. I feel like I had a pretty good melting week. Well, actually, I can't say melting week because this is not from just this past week. Like I said, this is random stuff from the past month. Um, but I would say I had a few misses, but mainly hits in this um, collection of empties. So several things in here that would be repurchases for me. Um, but I did want to hop on and just share with y'all this random collection of wax that I got through. So now I can, um, toss this and make room for some new wax. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for clicking on 32 minutes. Okay. Not bad. And, um, I am going to go walk this dog and take a little break and then I'm going to hop back on because it's just a little after four. So we've got some time before it kick off and I am going to do another round of empties and this is going to be my empties from last week. Pumpkin empties. Yes. Um, so I will see y'all soon. Uh, I do want to thank you guys. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for being a part of my channel. And if you are not a subscriber, I would love to reach out to you and invite you to hit the like and the subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would love to have you as part of my channel. Thanks you guys. And I will see you in a little bit for round two of empties.